Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your July 2019 mid-month general readings. We're looking at the last half of July here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Welcome to everyone who is with us here today. Uh, any newcomers and first timers and welcome back to followers and subscribers. Thanks for taking the time to tune into this channel and for all your support, feedback and comments. Uh, and thanks to all of my clients out there as well. I always like to give a big shout out to you guys because you keep me so busy with personal one-on-one -on -one readings and I'm so grateful that so many of you keep coming back. It's always an honor and a pleasure to read for all of you. Thanks so much. <coughs> Excuse me, a little hoarse today. If any of you are interested in booking a personal reading with me, you can click on the description link below for more info and contact details. Uh, you can go to my YouTube channel's homepage as well too and click on the little about button there. Uh, email me directly at Maggie, the number one McGuire at gmail.com. I'd be delighted to work with you. I offer a, a wide variety of readings in all areas of life. And uh, I can usually respond to your initial inquiry within the same day in the first 24 hours. And scheduling is pretty good too. I know that's a, an issue I've heard about a lot from clients about timing, scheduling with uh, many psychics. But uh, I do readings full time. Uh, six, sometimes seven days a week. So I'm pretty diligent at working with people's schedules um, to get them readings as quickly as possible. So if you're interested, send me an email and we'll go from there. I'd be happy to work with you. So this reading is for the air sign of Gemini for the last half of July 2019. I, I keep seeing this picture of a heart in my mind's eye, Gemini. I'm hoping that it will be a love-filled remainder of the month for many of you. <coughs> All right, Gemini. Make sure to watch your rising sign, moon sign, Venus sign if you know them. Uh, general readings always resonate a little differently and that can help provide additional info and clarification. Okay, Gemini keep seeing this heart. Okay, Gemini, we begin with the Six of Pentacles, followed by the Knight of Cups. We have the Empress, followed by the Two of Cups. And from the bottom of the deck, your overall energy and guidance is the Two of Wands, trying to figure out which way to go. Let me pull one more card to see. The Chariot, which way to go, how best to achieve what you want in uh, a powerful, powerful way. That's your overall focus for the remainder of July. And it looks like a relationship for many of you with the traditional Two of Cups soulmate card here right next to the Knight of Cups who's offering their love. So it's all about which path to take, which road do I take that's going to get me success in what I want. The Chariot is a major arcana card. Uh, I think one of the most powerful success cards in the tarot. It speaks of winning because you refuse to give up. Success that comes from sheer perseverance, determination, willpower, knowing what your goal is, staying focused on your goal, and not allowing anything to distract you or slow you down or make you lose momentum or give up. <coughs> the chariot represents winning that comes from the fact that you just refuse to give up. So how best to achieve this? Now, for some of you, this may not be a romantic relationship or situation. It could, I mean, success, you know, which path to go down, what decisions do I make and what actions do I take to get me uh, to what my goals are. It might be in work, career, and finance. Uh, it might be in the relationship arena of your life. It might be in health or spiritual paths. Although I feel like for many of you, it is either about a soulmate relationship, which could be romantic or best friend, uh, or it could be a situation that uh, affects this soulmate relationship as well. So the overall energy is about figuring out how to best have success, whatever the success means for you in the area of your life that it's resonating in. We have an offer coming in. We have the Six of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. So here's the Knight bringing in this offer of, well, of equality, of mutual giving, mutual receiving, mutual respect, mutual admiration. This is a, a card that speaks of 
equality, equal giving, equal receiving, a relationship or situation or circumstance that represents mutual beneficence, being fairly compensated for the work that you do in job, work, and career. Uh, sometimes it can represent being on the giving end of something or on the receiving end of something. And it is brought by the Knight of Cups. So Cups is, Pentacles is, is earth energy. And, and this is manifest in the structure of our life and what makes us feel stable and secure in the actual structure of our life, whether it's money, finances, property, uh, or relationships as well, and the efforts that we put into those things. So the Six of Pentacles is about balance and stability in our life, whether it's an actual dollars and cents in something we can touch or in something more intangible like a relationship with somebody else. So there's an offer coming in by the Knight of Cups. Knights are the bringers, the deliverers. Uh, they represent offers and opportunities being brought in to us or us extending them outwards and also the speed at which a situation moves. So Cups is water energy. In the tarot, this is the element which governs the suit of cups. And in the tarot, the energy of cups is heart energy. So this is about feelings, emotions. The Knight of Cups is bringing, <laughs> you know, riding in, prancing in, uh, offering his cup of love. He's holding it up. Here it is. Here is my love. Here is what I'm offering. Uh, here is my support, my encouragement, my love, uh, my romance, my commitment. This is what I'm offering. Uh, the Knight of Cups is very much an idealist. He's in love with love itself. He's very sincere in what he's offering. Sometimes the Knight of Cups challenge is in being able to follow through because he's still developing and evolving. He's not quite a king yet, but he's working on it. Uh, so make sure that whatever this offer is, that this Knight of Cups, whether it's you or whether it's the other person, what they're offering, this sense of stability and security and equality in this relationship, you know, is, is sincere in that it can really be uh, uh, true. Something you can actually feel is stable and grounded. So there's an offer coming in, an offer of Well, this is a general reading. It could be an offer of many things, but you know, it could be an offer to, uh, it could be a proposal. It could be an offer of marriage, of engagement, of moving in together, of saying that, you know, I'm sorry. It could be an apology. If you guys have broken up or had some difficulty, it could be an apology saying, I will do better. I will do my part because the six of pentacles in terms of relationships represents people, two people, regardless of the nature of the relationship. The Six of Pentacles represents two people or two sides that are equally willing to have a balanced, healthy, mutually beneficial relationship, both giving and receiving in as equal a way as they can manage it. It's healthy, healthy balance. And the time is right for this rebalancing and this harmony to come in too, because uh, the Six of Pentacles is next to the Empress and followed by the Two of Cups. Oh, what a beautiful combination of cards. It's a great reading, Gemini. The Empress, she is the traditional Earth Mother of the Tarot. She combines and balances the physical, sensual uh, uh, fertility of the, the, the world we live in. She balances that with the uh, spirituality and intuition and inner love as well. This is a card about self-care, taking good care of yourself, uh, which is what fertility is about as well. It is a card of fertility, so which means that the time is right. Fertility means that the time is right, the season is right, the soil is right, the seeds are ready. It's time to plant these seeds so that we can begin to grow and manifest them into something quite beautiful. So whatever this offer is of stability, of security, of equality, of mutual giving and receiving in this situation or relationship, the time is right for this. The Empress usually shows up when it's a green light. It's a go for beginning new things, planting the seeds for it. Now seeds won't do anything if we don't take care of them. We have to plant them, we have to cover them up, water them, feed them watch them grow, prune them a little bit here and there. And one day, if we do that, they eventually manifest to their full potential and it ends up giving back to everybody. Time for what? Well, the Empress is accompanied by the Two of Cups. Such a beautiful reading. Such a beautiful reading. 
Makes me wish I were a Gemini. Although my Venus is in Gemini. It's an absolutely beautiful sign, especially if your Venus would be in Gemini. It's a good sign for love. It's a good time for love. So here we have the traditional soulmate relationship, kindred spirit. This is more than just surface attraction or surface liking each other. This is a meeting of the mind, the heart, the soul, the spirit. This is really feeling that kismic karmic connection. It could be of a romantic uh, love. It could be the love of two best friends. It could be people who are connected in a best friend kindred spirit who evolve into something more romantic. Soulmates can be people that, you know, they're brought, we're brought together for reasons of lessons and our own growth and evolution as well as the other person's. And sometimes if we choose not to learn that lesson or repeat patterns, that opportunity will come around again. Some people go in and out of our lives until we learn that lesson. And even then, sometimes they stick with us for the rest of their lives uh, or for the rest of our lives. And, and sometimes they don't, but the energy of that connection and the lessons in that connection do. So there's an offer coming in. Some of you, it might be you extending it outwards, but I always feel first and foremost, it's the offer coming in. Uh, but it could be some of you extending this offer towards someone you feel is your soulmate. Somebody you feel your soulmate is offering their cup of love. For some of you, it may be uh, an apology or an, an offer that's also an apology and an offer after some diff a breakup or some difficulty saying, you know, I'm here to do my part. I want to be a good partner. I want this relationship to be balanced and healthy. It looks like it's the right time now. And it's all about, okay, figuring out how do we move forward here in the most successful way to have what we want to reach our goal. And our goal, uh, goals in relationship is to have healthy, loving, nurturing, sustainable ties with each other. It's an absolutely beautiful reading. I mean, I'm not here to tell people what to do. I'm here to present as much as I can, uh, as much as spirit gives through me so that you can make the best decisions possible. But this doesn't look like one I would pass up. It looks really quite lovely. Let's pull one more card from spirit for you, Gemini. One more from spirit. Any words of advice or final messages? It's just lovely, sweet. the star what's behind it the four of wands this is it's just beautiful Gemini just beautiful the star this brings a renewed sense of hope faith and optimism and I say renewed because the star sh shines a light in the darkness it lights the way when all else is dark has been dark I often see this card come up after a period of struggle challenge difficulty it could be a breakup a fight difficulty that you guys have been having in this relationship regardless of the nature Something is happening which is shining a light in that darkness. It's one of the wish fulfillment cards. It says, walk in faith. Even if you can't see more than a step or two in front of you, do your part. Your part is walking into this, accepting this, putting one foot in front of the other and doing your best. And God's spirit, your angel and guide's part, they take care of the rest. It's saying, trust, walk this path, do your part. And this path leads to joy and fulfillment. And right behind it is the Four of Wands, the happy surprise, unexpected blessing, celebratory energy with friends and family, also one of the strong primary marriage, wedding, engagement cards. Also represents the season of summer, which we are in, which is a traditional time period for people to get engaged and get married. It's a beautiful reading, Gemini. I'm going to stop there because I don't think it can get any better and I don't want to pull any more cards. So Gemini, that uh, is your reading for the last half of July 2019. I hope you enjoyed it because I certainly did. Uh, if this reading resonated for you, if any of the videos resonate for you and you'd like to schedule a more personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me, please feel free to email me directly at maggie, the number one mcguire at gmail.com. I would be most happy to work with you and set up a reading <coughs> as quickly as we can. I offer a wide variety of readings, love and romance, uh, relationship compatibility charting, which take a look at uh, the different uh, aspects of each person in a specific relationship, uh, career work and finance readings, investment readings, and I also offer six and 12 month life overviews, which take a look at what's coming in all the main areas of your life, 
over the next six or 12 months, depending on how far ahead you want to look. And I also offer gift readings as well for friends, family, and loved ones, which are uh, kind of nice, especially if you struggle to know what to get for the person who you don't know what to get anything for. Uh, there's nothing more personal than a personal reading. So a few things to choose from, as well as a variety of other uh, types of readings. So send me a message and I would be happy to hear from you. So I will see you all uh, in a couple of weeks for the August 2019 general readings. In the meantime, I wish you much joy, love, happiness, and peace. For any other questions, please feel free to click the, the description link below for contact info. I'll see you all again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.